Welcome to Canada. If you need anything translated, talk to Zephyr. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Zephyr's Travels. In this video we're going to talk about a recent trip we made coming from Michigan back to New York State where we crossed a border into Canada uh, with our two dogs with us and what you need to know when you cr cross that border with pets. For travel into Canada and back into the US you're going to need to show proof of citizenship. Um, the typical type of proof of citizenship that's accepted would be a US passport but you can also use a passport card or other type of identification that I've shown here on the screen. Now for your pet, you're going to need to have uh, proof of rabies. So you're going to need to have a valid rabies uh, certificate and it's going to need to have the following information on it. This certificate needs to be updated within the past three years. Canada also has some other restrictions about the amount of food that you can bring in for your dog. I've never been asked when we've crossed a border on what we're transporting as far as food and everything, but the requirements are here up on the screen for you. Now we're here at the U.S.-Canada border at Point Edward, Ontario, and we're about to cross in, and I've let the cameras run as we went across the border, so you'll hear the conversation between myself and the border agent. Now we had all the correct paperwork ready for them, and we also made sure to take our sunglasses off so they could see our faces when they're looking at our passport. Now we did give them our rabies certificate and the agent um, just nodded and said, you know, as long as we had it, it was okay, basically. He didn't say that, but basically that's what he implied. So we we're good to go from that perspective. So it's now our turn to move up to the uh, agent. And so you'll see us be pulling forward in a second here. And at this point, I'm going to stop the background music and you can hear the video and our conversation with the border agent. You be good. No barking at the attendant. Rochester, New York. Is that where you're heading now, sir? Yes. I thought you said no. Yes. Have a great day. Thank you. Not a problem with the dogs. No. Oh, you have to see this. Well, that was easy, wasn't it, Zeph? Mm -hmm. You feel like you're back home? In your home country? This is where you were born. This is very typical of a crossing into Canada that I've experienced before. They're usually going to ask you some questions of whether you have firearms or anything and it's been pretty straightforward. There's really nothing to worry about coming into Canada. We're now coming up onto the U.S. border coming into Lewiston, New York. So we got passports. And the dog papers. And the dog papers are ABC.
Now there may be a few differences coming into U to the U.S., but still it's nothing to worry about. Um, typically, the U.S. border feels to be a little more uh, restrictive. Um, they do have um, like sensors that you're going to drive through for your vehicle. Um, there is a separate lane for RVs. We didn't get into it. We got into the wrong lane, but it didn't seem to be a big issue. I mean, they kind of gave us a warning as you're here about that and told us next time make sure you're in the correct lane. And it's probably a lot to do with the sensors that they want your vehicle to pass through. They're taller on that. You'll see them as we drive up to the gate. They're the bright yellow things um, that we pass through. But going into the U.S., they're going to ask you some questions. Just answer them. Um, my advice, anytime you're going to go across the border and you're dealing with customs, answer the questions. Make sure you take off your sunglasses. Um, and just really don't volunteer any extra information. They're going to ask you what they want to know. And they're going to know, you know, they're going to be able to tell by talking to you, you know, what type of person you are and everything. And if they are concerned, they may ask you to pull over and you know, do a, a, a more of a um, in detailed conversation or possibly look into your RV. We've never had our RV searched. I've heard other people have had that happen. So it's something that you could have happen, in it, but I've never had it happen to us. So um, we should be coming up on the gate right about now and, and taking our turn. So our kind of stop talking and you can hear the audio between us and the border agent. Just the two of us and two dogs. Okay, the dogs up today were the rabies vaccination? Yes, that's what they were too. Give me your IDs then, folks. Okay. And in the future, sir, when you call and stuff like that, use lane number one. Yeah, I, I got in, I saw that after I got in the line. Where do you folks live? Uh, just outside of Rochester in Bergen, New York. Alright, Diana, can you just Diana. for a second? What were you guys doing in Canada? Just driving through from Michigan. Oh, you're coming from Michigan? Yeah. Did you stop and buy anything in Canada? No, just lunch. Any food, alcohol, or the back of my board? No. Did you head home? Yep. Did you go camping in Michigan? Yeah, we went to the NASCAR race. Oh, wow, which one? Um, Michigan Flower Hunter? Yes. Who won that one again? Uh, Kevin Harvick. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Well, you want some good work from me, drive forward. <laughs> I, I root, I'm a GM guy, but I'll root for the Ford guy over the Toyotas. Yeah, yeah. I hear you there. Now, with the plate in the back, uh, the New York place on the trailer? Yes, it is. Anybody care about $500 in currency? No. Nope. Okay. go out there, get the plate number, and then you'll be on your way, folks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So you can see, it wasn't a real, wasn't any issues going across into the border. It was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, just make sure you're well prepared, have all your paperwork ready for them, and remove your sunglasses, and you should have an issue. Now, your experience may be different than this. If it is, leave us a comment. Let us know what, what you experienced going through the borders. So, going across the border, just make sure you're in the right line. <laughs> in the RV line. Right. Coming into the U.S. at least. Find that. Not too hard. Take your sunglasses off. Oh, yeah. They don't take a toll. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And hit that bell so that you get notifications when we post new videos. We try to post new videos at least once uh, a week. And we'll see you down the road.